How do Chaingrave Games back again for another issue of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer? We're on issue 28 this time, and this is a very good issue. In this issue, you'll be getting the Warhammer Underworlds Warband. And it's Gits. We all like Gits. We all know a Git. Well, here's some Gits for you. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's cut through that. Move that to the side, and let's pour out the contents. Now, like with most of the Underworlds kits, uh, the bases come on the sprue. Let's get that out of the way somewhere. Oh, yes, there we go. So, let's get down here, and let's look at these kits. So, yeah, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Is that how many you get in this? Uh, let's turn it around. You can see there, Games Workshop are limited 2018, so these aren't that old whatsoever. Um, but yeah, these are lovely little models. Uh, yeah, nine. That's crazy. All with their little scenic bases and stuff. Let's, I was going to say let's turn them over and have a look at the gits, but you can't actually see some of them. There we go, look at that. Yeah, now you will be getting more of these uh, uh, gits, uh, you know, the little grotty kind of characters in uh, later issues, but they are substantially older sculpts. I think they're actually sculpts that were uh, for Warhammer Fantasy back in the day. I don't think they've updated them yet. They've just kind of kept them going. Um, but yeah, these are lovely sculpts. I'm trying to find where the big main... Ah, that might be... It might be Zarbag. That might be a big main guy. I don't know, you've got another... You've got another... Uh, git head there as well. You've got a squig face there. Yeah, these are lovely. Another squig there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they look lovely. So, I'll just show you through them. Again, there's not much to show. There's nine models, and there's no build options. They all come as they are. Because they were to be used with the uh, Warhammer Underworlds game, but they do have rules for Age of Sigmar. Now, that's that. Let's just pop it over there to the side, and let's get into the magazine, shall we? So, in this issue... You will be reading A Growing Menace, you'll be collecting your Zarbag's Gits, building your Zarbag's Gits, painting your Zarbag's Gits, you'll be getting some more core rules, you'll get something to do with inspiring presence, you'll be getting Zarbag and Zarbag Gits, your data sheets, well, your, your war scrolls, Loon Masher Fanatics, Behold the Bad Moon. Right, so A Growing Menace. In the hands of the Gloom Spike Gits, the bizarre cave fungi of the Morti Realms can be Morti Realms, mortal realms can be a deadly weapon. These grots seek out the most noxious and magical fungi, and they use it to make bombs, poison, potent brews, and even fearsome beasts of war. Ooh. I'm pretty sure you get him later on as well, yeah. I'm sure you do. Uh the nature of the squig. One beast of many uses. Ah, some lovely little pictures of squigs there. I always did quite like squigs. Uh, when I first got into a uh, 40k, my uh, my friend collected orcs, and so uh, obviously I had an orc uh, codex, and I did like reading about the uh, different squigs, all the different things they could do. Right. So character names Zarbag, then you've got Drizgit Drizgit the Squig Herder, Prog Denetta, Dibs, Redcap, Stickit, Grobbleluck, Bonecracker, and Snurk Sourtongue. Lovely. Well, easy names that roll off the tongue. Lovely. And here's your how to build. Uh, attach the mushrooms to the base first. You, you hear? You need to put the mushrooms on the base first. And it looks like there's been absolutely loads of little mushrooms. 
Yeah, and then you're getting your how to paint using all the colors you've got so far. Uh, oh, that's uh, actually go back a sec. Uh, so that's Zarbag. So yeah, Zarbag's the one with the the really long uh, hood uh, hooded cape thing. And you how to paint. Uh, and then your rules. You'll paint Drizgit's brazier of coals when you have more paints. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they're telling you now again about, you know, some of the techniques you'll... Well, some of the paints you'll be getting later on. So you can use some, some more techniques for your painting. Some more of the rules. Straight out of the uh, main rule book. Inspiring Presence. Inspiring Presence is best used on units that have suffered heavy casualties and are almost certain to feel their battle shock test. It's particularly useful for destruction players using large units with low bravery characteristics, such as Gut Rippers and Hobgrot Slitters. But will also be useful for multi-model Stormcast units such as Griffhounds and Vindictors. Right. The Gut Rippers are on the verge of fleeing. The destruction player uses an inspiring presence so the survivors don't need to take a battle shock test. Hmm. Right, so here we go, the war scroll for Zarbag and his gits. So Zarbag himself, the main man, well, the main git, he's got five wounds, a movement of five inches, six plus save, five bravery. His weapon is a melee weapon, which is a cursed sickle. Uh, two inch range, three attacks, three plus to hit, three plus to wound, minus one rend and two damage. Um, he's got some other things as well. It looks like he's a wizard, so he can cast spells. Um, and he's a hero, but with his gits, they are 5 inch move, uh, 6 plus save, 5 bravery, and 2 wounds a pop, and missile weapons a moon clan bow, which is a 20 inch range, 1 attack, 4 plus to hit, 4 plus to wound, no rend and 1 damage, then melee weapons, you've got Squigbrand, which is a 2 inch range, 2 attacks, 3 plus to hit, 3 plus to wound, a minus 1 rend and 2 damage. A barbed net, which is 2 inch range, 3 attacks, 3 plus to hit, 4 plus to wound, no rend, 1 damage. A slitter, which is 1 inch, uh, 2 attacks, 4 plus to hit, 4 plus to wound, no rend and 1 damage. And a fang-filled gob for the squig, obviously, which is one inch range, three attacks, four plus to hit, three plus to wound, minus one rend and one damage. Right. So the the uh, oh, loon smith fanatics. So what's is this one you get in this? Like. Hmm. Right, well, we'll look at this war scroll as well. Loonsmith Fanatics, they've got 2d6 inch move, 1 wound, 10 bravery, and 6 plus save, and they've got a ball and chain, which is 3 inch range, d6 attacks, 4 plus to hit, 3 plus to wound, minus 2 rend, and d3 damage. Right, so the, that's a nice way of kind of showing that they're literally just swing a uh, a ball and chain around their heads and wherever you know the ball and chain drags them that's where they go so it's proper up in the air like you know how far they get to move how many attacks how much damage i quite like that right and then behold the bed moon uh Right, and then another little scenario for you. Scenario, yeah. So yeah. And then in issue 29, you'll be getting some more paints, yay. And in issue 30, you'll be getting some more Hobgrots. Yay, yeah. Well, I'm not a massive fan of Hobgrots, and uh, I'm pretty sure this sprue is just the same as the last sprue we got, so. But... That is issue 28 of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer. 
Now, you're probably wondering why I haven't gone into the price for uh, Zarbag's kits. Well, that's because you can't buy them separately anymore. Um, you can buy the Underworld uh, Warbands separately, some of them, but you can't get these Zarbag's gits anymore. If I'm not mistaken, this should be around 26 quid per warm band, and you're getting this for 8.99. So, and you're getting it cheaper if you get it from Forbidden Planet. So, yeah, it's an absolute steal. It's a deal. It's a steal. It's sale of the effing century. In fact, I'll keep it. So, comment in the comment section, like and subscribe, and much love. I'll see you in a bit.